Hi, I'm Ron Hudson, the designer of Podium Q, and today I want to talk to you about how to get started making great talks with Podium Q, the iPad app for public speakers. So first off, let's open up Podium Q, and I'm going to start a new talk here, and let's call it Quick Start 1. And as you can see, the title of your talk is right up here, and then you can start typing in the body. And when you, say if you double tap, when you click off the card, then the title shows up at the top here. So you can double tap a card to get back into edit mode. And I'm going to start by saying that I'm going to do an intro. I'm Ron Hudson, the designer of Podium Q. I would give great talks using Podium Q. Now, to make my next card, all I'm going to just tap this plus here, and it's going to make another card, taking me right to the title. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is bullet points. So I'll put that right in the title up here, and when I click down here, then I can go ahead and fill out this one. I want to say, be concise. And I can't spell, so I can fix that. Um, too much text makes cards useless. Okay, um, so if you write too many words on the card, then when you're glancing down to just get your cue, because the whole point is to use cues, it's not to use a manuscript or a teleprompt, but just to see a cue of what you need to talk about so that then you can speak off the cuff without having to be down in your notes too much. So say if I was going to give this as a talk, I would um, probably tell a story here. Um, 99 cards. Okay, and this is a great place for me to show you how to do story cards. So let me type this in real quick and we'll speed it up with the magic of videos. And to make a card a story card, all you have to do is tap the card, and we'll go back into edit mode because that's where we normally do it, and when a card is highlighted you can see that around the edges it has this white line. So anywhere you touch, if you're editing the card, which means the, the cursor is in the middle, then you have to tap on the edge of the card to select it. Um, if a card's not being edited, you can just tap anywhere and it will highlight it or unhighlight it. When you highlight a card, then up here at the top you get these, these buttons, Intro, Story, and Main. And these buttons are really the key to controlling Podium Q and setting up the structure of your talk. So this is going to be the beginning of a story. So I'm going to make it a story card. So all I do is make sure that it's highlighted, the card that I want, or cards, plural, that I want to make story card. Then I just tap the Story button. And it's going to change it blue, which is going to cue me that this is a story that I want to tell, or an illustration. Um, sometimes I'll use this for quotes or other things, but I know that they're illustrations. And so they're going to be things that I'm either going to read or I'm going to walk away from. And it's pretty easy to tell because it'll be in quotation marks or something like that. Okay, so this is a story and you can see it changes here. And then to unselect all the cards, just tap anywhere in the black space. Usually right here is a good spot um, between the keyboard or when the keyboard's down, you can select multiple cards and just tap anywhere else outside of the cards and you can unselect everything which brings up your other buttons to get to your talks and your timer which we'll talk about in another video okay now I've got my story cards finished so I have three story cards here and I want to get to the main point now um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another card so I can just tap the plus I just selected the card and tap the plus and then I'm gonna talk about my main point my main point is be concise Okay, and using cues prevents post talk blues. Yeah, that's a great little line there, huh? <laughs> and then um, I want to say if I don't. I don't know it well enough. They won't. They 
won't hear it well enough. Now, as you can see with the wordsmithing here, I've crafted these incredibly memorable statements um, for my talk. So using cues prevents post-talk blues, and I don't, if I don't know it well enough, then they won't hear it well enough. So what I would do here, then, this is going to be like a main point that I'm going to work towards if I'm giving this as a talk, then I'm going to tap this card to select it, and I'm going to set it as a main point. And what you'll see is the card moves down then to the next row. And this is on purpose. You end up with a row of white and blue cards and then a row of red cards. If I created another card here, it would be a red card. And I could continue on with hitting the main point. My next thing I wanted to talk about was planning. And so now I make a new intro card. And the way you do that is um, really simple. The same way we did that, say this is going to be my next one. So I'm going to do planning and using stories is a powerful way to talk to your audience. So this is introing a whole new idea. So what I would do then is select this card and hit intro. And that moves it to the next line. And then I would continue on adding cards and writing my talk, making sure that I'm using nice keywords in the header that will show up in the footer and then finish out my talk. So um, this is how to get started kind of writing your talk. Um, Check out video number two and you can see how I use it when I'm speaking. For more info, you can check us out on PodiumProApps.com. That's PodiumProApp.com or PodiumQ.com. And you can follow me on Twitter, at Pastor Hudson, and we're also at PodiumQ. Um, so you can find us all over the place. Please connect with us. We'd love to hear how you're using PodiumQ and help you out in any way we can to be a better speaker and to communicate what you're passionate about with your audience.